right, who's ready for a nighttime adventure with the Gig Master? Get your flashlights out, because here we go. We're heading out right now. Let's do it. All right, in tonight's adventure, the main thing we're going for are crabs. We get some good, tasty crabs. Hopefully, we get at least a couple dozen, maybe more. But the problem tonight is it's high tide, and I don't know how we're going to do right now, but I think we'll get some. Could you get to see some stingrays, flounder, who knows what else we'll see out here at night, but let's get the boat hit out right now. Here we go. Night. The boat is looking good. It's slick. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but it is slick out here. The water, let's look over this side right here. You see a little bit in there. It's slick in here. I like that. It's nice and slick, but it's high tide. But we're going to see what we can do. Here we go. Check out the bridge. They got it lit up at night. That blue is beautiful out there. That's pretty cool right there. You, you got to see all kinds of stuff I can get out. Just get out, man. You can see it. All right, we're out here in the water. And we're checking things out. Got one crab so far. That's it. And uh, it's just not a whole lot in here right now. See a lot of fish swimming around. And uh, tide is rolling out of here right now. But I haven't seen any other wildlife yet. One crab. We got to do a lot better than that. That's for sure. All right, here we go. Let's keep looking. All right, we got another one here. It's a nice one, too. Check him out. Or check her out. Look at that. We got a nice That one will be some good eating tomorrow there. All right, let's keep looking. All right, check this guy here. I don't think we'll get him. I don't think he's quite big enough. Not bad, though. Not bad. Let me get you down and get a closer view of him anyway. He's not bad. But I think we'll let him go. We already got one by that size. We won't get any too many little ones here. We want the big boys. We want the big ones, man. We don't want them little things. See, there's a, lot, there's a little minnow right there. You look around, you see a lot of little wildlife in here. Stingrays get in here too. You don't want to step on them though. They could sting you. Stick their tail into you. And you gotta keep an eye out for them because they will come in here and lay in here. And you won't see them. So keep your eyes open for me. Don't let me step on one. What is that? I don't know. You never know what kind of wildlife you might run across in here. Right, we worked our way up in here where the water is nice and clear. I got a little fish down here in the bottom. It's not a flounder. It's another kind of fish, but check him out. Can y'all see him? It's kind of cool, isn't he? All right, there's a lot more more uh, sea life in here that we can see because of the... Because the... Uh, it's a lot clearer in here. We, we kind of got out of the current. The current's running really strong. There's a crab right there. I see him. Crab there. It's too small though. We don't want them small ones. We want some big crabs. Could see a big flounder in here too though. I had to rebuy my license tonight. They ran out the other day. So we, uh, we, we're good to go. Look at this. It's beautiful in here, isn't it? Beautiful night in here. There's, a, there's one's probably big enough right there. All right, let's go ahead and get him. I'll give you a little demonstration here anyway. There he is right here. My net's up here. We we'll just put it behind him and just scoop him up like that. See that? Now we got him. That's too small. Let's let him go. We're going to let that one go. There it goes. He's a little too small. All right, let's get the big ones. Here we go. He is cool. Look at him. He's beautiful. He's a beautiful turtle. It's a big turtle, too. Wow. He's just chilling. Let's see if we can come up here and see where he's going. Big old turtle. All right, let me go get my boat moved around a little bit. I think I can't reach any further. Maybe I can zoom in just a little bit for you. Let's zoom in a little bit. All right, there we go. There he is. Pretty cool, huh? Beautiful. Look at him. That's awesome. All right, we're picking a few more up in here. Here's a pretty nice size one right there. Let's see what that one is. That's actually a female. But uh, definitely a biggest, probably one of the bigger ones we got tonight. We're trying in here right now in an area. A lot of grass in here, as you can see. But we're going to give it a shot right now. A little bit clearer right on the edge. We got out there in the center, and the, it was so cloudy you couldn't see anything because of the tide running. But in here you can. It's not too, too bad right here. So let's give it a shot. I don't know if we can get him, but there's a big crab over here. 
he'll run fast too sometimes, so we gotta be real careful. Here he is right there, let's see if we can get him. Oh god, I think we got him. We got him, it's a nice one too, look at him. That's a nice crab there, yeah. That's the kind we're looking for right there. Sweet. We probably got a half dozen now. Working on a dozen. Nice, nice ground here and a little bit of grass in you. I don't know if y'all can see that crab laying in the grass right there. We're gonna scoop him out of there. If we can. Okay, I think we got him. And we got him. Not a bad one. Right inside all that, all that lettuce right there. Isn't that beautiful? Ha <laughs> ha. We're gonna take that lettuce out of here though. So we end up with just a crab. We can dump him in the cooler. Nice one. All right. We're gonna have enough to eat tomorrow. Kinda looking like it. Right, let's dump him in the cooler here. And he's in the cooler. All right, let's keep, get another one. Here we go. Let's check out the landscape just a little bit in here. It gets clouded up when you start moving around like that so you can't really see. But now, check this out now. Now you can see. If there's something on the bottom there, you'll see it. And no tell what you might see in here. Beautiful though. Okay, let's keep looking around here. Oh, there's one right there. Small though. I'll show them to y'all though. There's two of them actually right there. Two, both of them too small though. Okay, we're gonna keep looking. Way off in the distance here, laying in the grass. Can y'all see him? Oh, he's not laying too hard though. He's not gonna stay long. Can y'all see him right there? He's a nice one though. Let's get him. Oh, I got him. I think, oh, I missed him. I think he's still down there though. I got him. Second hit, second run I got him. I can't believe he didn't run off. A lot of times when you miss him one time, they are out of there. But that's a nice one here. Let's uh, oh, here goes my light. Let's get my light in the water here. So we see what we're doing. All right, there we go. Now we can see. Get some of this grass out of here. We don't want to dump all that grass in my cooler here. All right, let's get back over here where we can see. All right, maybe I can just grab the crab by the back here. Don't want to get bit though, that's for sure. All right, here we go. You gotta grab him right by these back claws right here. And you'll be okay right there. Now hopefully I can get him right here. As long as he doesn't drop his claws. He can actually drop his claws off and you'll lose the crab. Because he knows he can do that. Let's wash him off a little bit here. Okay, we got him washed off. Let's get him back over here. There he is, we got him washed off. Now hopefully we can get that out of his mouth there. All right, let's dump him in the cooler now. Okay, next crab. And there's the next one right over there. I see him waiting on us right there, I see him. I don't know if y'all can see him or not, but there's definitely some crabs in here. I'm gonna get rid of this stuff out of my basket. Okay, we got them. I think it might be actually two of them. Yep, that's two of them. A rider, what do you call a rider? Because she was probably getting ready to shed so they can mate. But she's gone because she was too small and went through the net. Awesome, I love it. Let's get them in the box. Alright, unfortunately, it started pouring down rain and a lightning storm is on its way, so we got to get out of here. I don't see it, I don't see it flash right now, but it's been flashing left and right. Alright, we got to get back in. I'm not staying out here in lightning. Rain I can handle, but lightning, I got to get out of here. So, let's do it. Let's get out of here. Alright, looks like we had a major storm come in. Lightning, thunder. Poured down rain on me, I'm soaking wet, down to my waist I think. I did not expect that that soon, I thought it was going to be a few more hours away, but we think we might have got enough crabs for lunch tomorrow, maybe. We'll go home and check it out, because y'all can hear the rain starting to pour down on my roof now. Listen, it's coming down and the light is on the way. Alright, stay tuned, we'll get home, check everything out tomorrow. We'll get to bed right now, it's kind of late. We'll go ahead and get to bed and we'll check them out tomorrow, cook them up, we'll eat them up. All right, stay tuned. All right, well, that wasn't quite the adventure I wanted last night, but uh, I'll show you a picture right here of the storm that came up on me. Red, that was me in the middle of that red storm. That was not cool. 
I wasn't there for about an hour, but we did see a cool turtle and some other wildlife in there, and we got about 10 crabs anyway. And we're gonna cook them up right now. I'll show you real quick my procedure for cooking them, and we'll eat them up. All right, stay tuned. All right, I'm gonna show you my cleaning process now. I had to get the shell off. What I do, I take the shell off, blast out the inside, all the guts and everything. So when, you, when you're actually eating the crab, picking the meat out, all you got is shell and meat. All right, this guy's really lively here. Are you ready? What I normally do, oh, whoa, gotta watch him though. I'll put my feet on his claw sometime. And just pull the shell off, like that. All right, and then we get the hose. We blast it out. That's dead man. On the side here. Right here on the side right here is, is his lungs. They call that dead man because it make you sick if you eat that. You don't want to eat that part right there. So I get all that out most I can. And then all you got is shell and meat right there. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll clean them up, put some old bay on them, and be ready to cook them up. Stay tuned. Here we go, it's going into my stove right there. All right, about 30 minutes later, we'll be done. All right, stay tuned, I'll show you how to pick them. All right, it's picking time. I'm just gonna show you real quick. What I, see, as you see, I, since I cleaned them out, there's no stuff inside, just shell and meat. I usually take, well, first you can do is you can take these off, the claws. Can you see that meat right there in the claw? Get rid of that first. That's the first thing I'll do right there. Take that meat off there. Then what I do is I take and break them right in half, hold to all the legs right here, push down on this right here, and come up here like this and look at that. Look at that meat. Awesome. That's the back fin and a couple of the legs right there. Get that out of there. And keep getting up. All right, we're going to pick these right here and we're going to eat them up. Stay tuned. All right, we got a nice bowl full of meat. We'll have a little snack right now. Let's get some butter melt in it and go for it. Here we go. Boy, ain't nothing better than fresh crab meat just caught with hot butter on it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah, that's some good stuff. All right, well, hopefully next time we'll get about, about a bushel. The storm won't get us. We'll get a bushel of them. We'll cook them up. All right, and hopefully see some more wildlife in there, too. We just got caught short last night with an hour. Anyway, I appreciate everybody coming along this adventure. Uh, please click like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. All right, thanks for coming along.